tell them one point. With the real Hebrew Israelites, we like start off by giving all praise, glory, honor, and respect doing to Yahweh. How by Hashem and how We like to give double honors to DL the Apostles, a great millstone, the true leaders of the bro- Salah, and the true leaders of the nation of Israel set up on the earth to teach today. Salutations to the Akim putting the word with truth, sincerity, and with charity. Go ahead, I'll go ahead and jump into it. It's uh, Isaiah 65 and uh, 13. Therefore, this said the Lord, Yahweh, behold, my servant shall eat, but ye shall, and ye shall be hungry. Behold, my servant shall drink, but ye shall be thirsty. Behold, my servant shall rejoice, but ye shall be ashamed. Come on. You know, also this boy that tell man, if you do this, if you doing this work, if you doing this work, the truth, sincerity, and charity, and the Most High got you predestined for salvation, and He got you predestined. And you gonna look out for you, man. The scriptures already let you know right there, man. This is our confidence, this is our hope. So, and it's telling you, man, we're gonna eat. And the scriptures tell you who the service is. The scriptures tell you uh, uh, who the most high dealing with. Also, he only dealing with the elect of the nation of Israel, which is the 12 tribes of Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. And the scriptures say, Behold, your servant shall eat, but you shall be hungry. So, who are you talking about? Those gonna be hungry. Those who ain't doing this work in truth, sincerity, and charity. Ultimately, those who scoffing, coming up against the truth. Those who making smear campaigns. Those who trying to slander the doctrine. Slander the man that the Most High put up. Start with the elders on down. And all the brothers pushing his word out truth, sincerity. Then y'all going to be hungry, man. Y'all going to be in miserable pain, man. And while we enjoy and rejoicing, y'all going to be, y'all going to be like, man, it's going to be bugged out for y'all. And it's going to be a scary situation. Uh-huh. Hey, uh, just, just to um, add to what the brother was saying about what y'all are going to be going through, this is, um, I'm going to grab this real quick. This is 2nd Edges chapter 9, um, verse 9. It says, Then shall they be in a pitiful case, which now have abused my ways, and, and they that have cast them away despitefully shall dwell in torment. So, hey, man, y'all finna really be going through some shit, man. At the end of the day, Lord is finna put y'all through it, man. And if you if you going to the, the further down, man, hey, them, them same people, man, they gonna have to know it by death, by pain, man. So y'all really about to go through it, man. The Lord is finna put you through some stuff, man. It's just, hey, man. And and, and that's why, man, and that's why we striving to be that, that a part of that knowledge, man, a part of the hopeful life, man. So in that day, we don't have to worry in that time of Jacob trouble, man. That we will eat, man, during that famine, man. Spiritually and physically, man. On the spiritual sense, where the Lord will just take care of us, man. He'll bring us to us, man. Is that not what he said in the scriptures? That's what he said, man. So, hey, ultimately, we just got to, we just got to, hey, deal accordingly, man. Stay prayed up, man, and, and, and just do what the scriptures ask of us, man. Uh, at the end of the day, we're gonna see, we're gonna receive a reward. Uh, I got a precept back you up. This um, Matthew chapter six, verse twenty-five. Therefore, I say unto you, take no thought for your life, what ye shall eat or what ye shall drink, nor yet for your body, but ye shall put what ye shall put on. Is not the life more than meat, and the body the raiment? Behold, the fowls of the air, for they sow not. Neither do they reap, nor gather into barns, yet your heavenly Father feed them. Are ye not much better than they? So ultimately, just going into like, man, the most I let you know right here that he got us. And, you know, sowing and reaping, we know we're doing this work. We're sowing in righteousness. We're sowing, we sowing to the spiritual spiritual things so we can reap them things back. And, you know, we, we hoping, or like the brother said, we hoping you know, we doing this work and we laboring doing this work so we can be good in that evil day. So we can eat. And the most out of letting you know, like, hey, the birds don't do none of this. They ain't doing the work. They not and he feeding them. And we greater than the birds. Oh, I got a piece of this uh Luke twelve and I'ma uh start at twenty nine. And seek not what you should eat or what you should drink. Neither be ye a a doubtful mind because you should, even though when it comes down to the Jacob trouble or um, when the famine come upon the earth, you should not know. You're not gonna. You're gonna. Don't panic. 
Don't be a doubtful mind because if you're not trusting into the Lord, the Lord is going to basically not going to feed you, man. Because you, you trusting into these other gods and all that. And Yahweh is the one you're supposed to be trusting to, man. If I may add, all you need when you say that if you're not, if you're not trust, trusting in the Lord, you don't have faith, man. And that's the key thing. You got to have faith. Bible, can I please hit this? Let me finish this. Oh, it's Luke 12 and 29 and uh, I'm going to 30. Huh. It said, and seek not what you should eat or what you should drink. Neither be ye a, a doubtful mind. For all these things do the nations of the world seek that. Because that's what they, the, the, all of the nations, even the two-thirds, going to seek what they should find in that day. We don't have to worry about that. Because the Lord knows, man. I'm gonna it is going to clarify. It. And your father know that ye have need of, of these things. Because the Lord know what you need, man. The Lord know you're going to be hungry. Just like when the Lord put that famine uh, in Elijah. It was a family of the whole earth. The Lord sent that raven to feed Elijah day and night. So we don't have to worry about what we gonna eat or or these two thirds men carnal. We finna uh, go shopping right now, stack up cases of water. No, you could be man. You could be storing that that, that food and that water for the elect's sake, man. Uh -huh. If if I may get this precept. Because and ultimately you gotta have faith in the Lord, man. This is Hebrews chapter eleven, verse six. But without faith, it is impossible to please Him. For he that cometh to the Most High must believe that He is, and that He is a rewarder of them that diligently seek Him. Mm -hmm. So, hey, man, if you doing what you're supposed to do, man, if you diligently seeking the Word, man, Salaki, if you diligently seeking the Lord, man, doing His work, man, pushing the Word with truth and saying with charity, man. It says, hey, man, you have to believe that he is a rewarder, man. That he will reward you for your works, man. Numbers 23 and 19 say, the Lord is a man that he shall not lie, man. So, hey, man, he not going to go on back on his word, man. Because the scripture said, man. And ultimately, if you don't believe in the scripture, then you, what are you in this for, man? You going off. You shouldn't even be around if you don't have that type of faith, man. That's right, bro. And to add on what the brother was saying, man. Like we like and like they saying, we 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 got faith, so we not finna go out there prepping for doomsday. We not finna go out there gathering up arms and guns and stuff like that, cause we got faith. All we doing is doing the work. We gonna sit back and we gonna hope and we gonna to lean on our faith that we gonna eat. We gonna be good. You want the power? Yeah, you bring that up. Come on, that's a uh, proverb eighteen and ten. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous running of it in the safe. Right. So uh, knowing that. You know, you gotta have a name. You know, on top of that, what we labor for, also need a kingdom. But what we labor, we what we say, all praise and glory honor to you. How about your shot? We got a lot of people out here. They laboring for themselves, which is in vain. They laboring for false other things, which is in vain. Mm -hmm. You understand? The Most High, His name is a strong tower. When we run into it, we're gonna be safe. That's why we got faith. That's why we got hope and confidence and know, hey, we go on the highways and byways, week in and week out. We can do these videos. We continue to follow everything according to this doctrine, and we're going to be safe. And ultimately, in that day, because uh, the brother's going into his lesson, we, we don't have to worry about what we're going to eat or thirst. Because uh -huh. the Lord, we're going to run into the Lord, no, no, righteous run into the Lord, and it's our safe. You know what safe me? We good. Uh -huh. Good. <laughs> ultimately, man, it, it, it really goes back to having that faith. And if I can, this is Hebrews 11 and 1. It says, now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. So, hey, man, if we could see into the future and see what happened, man, there was no need to be having hope, man, and, and faith in, that the Lord would save us, man. Had that type of hope that the Lord would deliver us out of that problem, man. If, since we got that faith, man, we got that faith in the Lord, man, on the things that's not seen, we believe that this is going to happen. We believe that the Lord is going to come back. And save us with them chariots. Send his son, your house shot to save us with them chariots. And crack them skies. If we continue in the things diligently, man. The same that endures to the end shall be saved, man. You just, hey, man. You gotta have faith in this thing, man. You gotta have faith, man. And you gotta do the work. If you do the work now, hey, you not gonna have to go through that death by pain. Because now we're getting all our suffering out the way. That's if you endure, though. Uh -huh. You're not going to endure. If you endure. That's a key thing. 
God ain't there, man. Cause Period. Absolutely. Yeah, that's good. No, that's it. Get that, uh, uh, second Thessalonians. Come. Three. This is second Thessalonians. Chapter three. Verse ten. For even when we were with you, this we command you, that if you would not work, neither should ye eat. Neither should he eat. Mm-hmm. And see, not, not, that, that's double fold. Because, hey, man, in, in today's society, hey, man, a man that don't work, he don't eat. But in the spiritual sense, man, you got to de- deal. You got to go do this work. Because, hey, like, like, hey, man. Because basically, we build up our spiritual bank account. Bro. That's that's what you're trying to get into, brother. That's what I was looking for. When we, when we build up our spiritual bank account. So while we're doing this work, the Lord is going to reward our later and give us the kingdom of heaven. We ain't going to worry about what we're going to eat and thirst in that day. None of them things. Because the Lord said he got us. There's some water. Oh, you got to elaborate? No, you, you took the words out of my mouth. That's a lot. That, no, don't say something. That's why you need brothers, man. <laughs> Brothers keep you on point, man. They keep you on point and they keep you strong. Man, the brothers is your strength, man. That's, that's important as a brotherhood. I got another precept real quick. Come. This is Proverbs chapter 1, verse 33. Come. Mm-hmm. But whoso hearken unto me shall dwell safely and shall be quiet from the fear of evil. So you got to listen to the most high when he tell you, you know, do this work. That's when he give you that calling. To any brother that received a call and correct it to according to the correct name under the man or whatever you went, you, you might not have met a couple of brothers or a couple of elders to keep you on point to teach how to do this word. But ultimately, you know, when you listen to the most high, he, he tells you like you're gonna be good. You listen to him, you're gonna do it safely. Now you, and the reason why, you know, we also brought up the name is a strong tower. If you listen to Jesus, you're not gonna be safe. At all. If you listen to Buddha, you're not gonna be safe. God knows. Yahweh, Yehoshua, all above that names that's not accurate points to doctrine and according to our pure language, you're not gonna be safe. What do Acts 1 12 say, man? I'll get it for you. Come. Uh, Why are you getting that? I'm talking about this. This is Psalms. Well, you, you got it out? Yeah, y'all get it real quick. Yeah, come this on. is Psalm chapter 4, verse 12. Neither does salvation in any other name, in any other. Mm-hmm. But there is none other name under heaven given among men with God we must be saved. And the reason to bring that out because you got to have that name, man. Yeah. We're not just going out here laboring, having our confidence in Jesus or our, just ourselves in vain or just just bugged out. Here. Like, we we uh, not sent off out here, man. Ultimate, exactly. Like the brother said, we're not sent off. There's opinion and there's facts, man. These scriptures are factual for the simple fact these prophecies are happening. That's what makes it fact if it can be proven. And everything in these scriptures can be proven. Precept upon precept, precept upon precept. And then, if you go through history, it proves it. So, hey, man, ain't no way around these scriptures. But to get what the brother on um, call for, it's like it. This is Psalm chapter 18. I'm going to start at the top. Um, I'm, I'm going to read the little prologue, little deal, too. It said, To the chief musician of Psalms, of David, the servant of Yahweh, who spake unto Yahweh the word of this song, in the day that Yahweh delivered him from the hand of all his enemies, and from the hand of Saul, and he said, I will love thee, O Yahweh, my strength. Yahweh is my rock, and my fortress, and my deliverer. Come on, that's what we gonna trust in, man. Read it from the top of well, verse two again. It says, Yahweh is my rock. Yahweh is our, our rock. And my fortress. My fortress. And my deliverer. My deliverer, man. Yahweh is who was gonna deliver us in that day, man. So when we thirsting or we hungry, the Lord is who he's gonna call upon. Yahweh by some our side, man. That's who he's gonna put our truck. Matter of fact, it's gonna get into it. Get reading. It says, my power, mm-hmm. my strength, and whom I will trust. Who I would trust, man. So you, back when our brother brought out Hebrews, we got to have that faith. That faith is what's going to have that trust in that day, man. Trust that he's going to deliver us. Trust that he's going to feed us. Trust that he's going he's gonna, to uh, bring us water to drink. We're not going to be thirsty. Not like y'all going to be. Hey, trust that he's going to do what he said ultimately, man. Hey, the brother said in Numbers, he's not a man that he would not lie. So, what you talking about, man? Come on. You don't have nothing to worry about if 
you do what the Lord says. And dirt. They get in dirt. Hey, hey, yeah, you said you girl started at 23 in that uh, Psalms 37. Come on, I don't finish this. Come on. It says, um, my power, my strength, in whom I will trust, my buckler, and my it's horn of. Yeah, you started. Salak, yeah. And the horn of my salvation. And my high towers. I will call upon Yahweh, who is worthy to be praised. So shall I be saved from my enemy. I will go on here, bro. Hey, hey. It say I will call upon Yahweh, who is worthy to be praised. So shall I, so shall I be saved from my enemy. Hey, man. And and that going to you gotta have that name. You still gotta have the name. To call on you gotta have a name to be saved from your enemies, man. Going back to that X at the brother part of, man. And everything spiritual, man, because most of these scriptures, hey man, most of these spirit these scriptures are just coming through the spirit, man. Everything is spiritual. We didn't we didn't put most of these scriptures together. We probably got about five scriptures and we say we're gonna roll with it. <laughs> I know that X wasn't a part of the script, but now look how it just pertains to the scriptures, man. Everything. It's all, it's all it's all through the spirit though. Because huh. like you got you got some people they go out here they do this for themselves. But when we do it, we do it off edification and we do it for the most high. And it's certain things that gotta be brought out, rather pertaining to the name, because it's all relevant, man. And 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 that's exactly why it's edifying. Because it's all uplifting the name of your Howl Bashim Yahweh Shah. If it's not dealing if if your Howl Bashim Yahweh Shah is not in it, it's not gonna profit. It's not gonna last. The, um, just just to finish out the scripture, verse 4, it says, The sorrows of death compassed me, and the flood of the ungodly man made me afraid. Oh, no, Salaki. That, it was during the three Salaki. Come What's the next? Uh, Psalms? Come on. I'll, I'll bring the Psalms out real quick. Just to, just to make a quick, real quick point where we were going into. This is Psalms chapter 37, verse, I'm starting at 23. The steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord, and he delighteth in his way. Though he fall, he shall not be utterly cast down, for the Lord upholdeth him with his, with his hand. I have been young, and now am I old. Yet have I not seen the righteous forsaken, nor his seed begging bread. So, you know, ultimately this is King David speaking, but you, you know, also the wisdom of the Most High is metaphor. The righteous is not going to be begging for bread. You know, and in this time, the, the, the elect is not going to beg for bread. They're going to be good. The whole point of going into this lesson, man, if you continue with these things, you believe in the most high, you believe in the correct name, we're going to be good. He going to take care of us, and we're not going to be begging for bread. Right, bro. Uh, I just want to jump to verse 27, make a quick point. Depart from evil and do good and dwell forevermore. The only way you can do that is run into the correct name, man. Follow the correct doctrines that from the elders on down have taught. Because the most I do use man, the prophets, his servants, and follow the script and just and do the work. And hey, hope and pray that we endure, we are part of that number, and we don't fall into that category, man. All right, bro. That's uh, on the Hebrew? Yeah, you bring that up. That's uh, Hebrews 4, uh, verse 11. Let us labor, therefore, to enter in the rest. Least believe any man fall out of the same example of an unbeliever. Right, man. So we go labor to enter into that rest, man. Because after all this, after it's all said and done, man, what's that rest? The kingdom of heaven. The scriptures tell you, uh, the scriptures tell you that this is not, I'm roughly paraphrasing, but this is not our rest, man. Because we have no rest. The only rest we have is these scriptures, man. So we laboring. We hoping and we praying that we do this work and we do these things, we follow the best, uh, to our best ability, that we're going to enter into that rest. That's what we laboring for. But all in all, you know, to stay on topic and a point, man, we laboring so we can be good in that day. So we can eat. So we're going to be begging for bread. So we can dwell quiet and safely. And so we can just let the name of the Most High be magnified and glorified. Because once his work is done, we going to know Yahweh did this. We going to know Yahweh shot. It's got a hedge over us. You don't know he protecting us. That's why we labor to do these things. Fuck with y'all. I got this precept from <laughs> God. Uh, man. This is Hebrews chapter 6, verse 10. Because mm -hmm. it, it's going to go with what you say, man. Because yeah. if, if we deal accordingly, man, hey. This is Hebrews chapter 6, verse 10. For Yahweh is not unrighteous mm. to forget your work and labor of love. 
which he hath showed toward his name, and that ye have ministered to the saints and do minister. So it say, hey, Amen. Lord not gonna do you like that. He ain't gonna play you like that. Hey, it tell you to, to, to uh, read it again one more time, Uncle Sean. It says, for this is Hebrews chapter six verse ten. For Yahweh is not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love. Doing this work, pushing this word out, going on highways and byways, making these videos. Huh. Which he has showed toward his name. His name, the correct name, according to doctrine, according to scriptures, man. We all know, man, that the most high is, man, not to even get off topic, but I got to say it for edification's sake. His uh, name don't got no O's, no E's, no U's in his name, man. So all them correct false names, Yahweh, Yehoshua, and them improper translations, higher. those are not the names, man. We know Jesus is nowhere near the sun name. We know none of them gods and them false idols, man. They're not even gods in Salakia. We know none of them false idols is not the name. But this word and this labor, he's not going to forget, man. This labor of love that we show towards his name, man. And that he have ministered to the saints and do minister. Alright, man. And who are the saints, man? I got it right here. Well, right. That's good. Precept upon precept. This Psalm 148. I'm going to start at 13. Let them praise the name of the Lord for his name alone is excellent and glory above the earth and heaven. He has also exhorted the horn of, of his people, the praises of all his saints, even of the children of Israel, of people near unto him, praise ye the Lord. Come on, man. Hey, hey, hey man, that's the, the scripture plain, man. The scripture plain, like, because at the end of the day, the most I only dealing with the elect, which is Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. And just, just to back that up, because this is how the spirit code, this is Psalms chapter 37, verse 28. For the for the Lord loveth judgment and forsaketh not his saints. They are preserved forever, but the seed of the wicked shall be cut off. So how are we going to be preserved, man? Also, we do this work and we endure and it's predestined for us to be a part of that number. We're going to be preserved forever from the days that's coming up. We're going to be good. We're going to eat. That's right, bro. And the seed of the wicked going to be cut off. Because they not doing this. They don't care. They the two thirds of our people don't care. They not doing the work. And then you got some men that set up camps. They doing it for their own vainglory. They selling out. They going totally off on the doctrine, which is all going back into Isaiah 65 when they say, when they say, uh, my, uh, behold, my servant shall rejoice, but ye shall be ashamed. Behold, my servant shall sing for joy of heart, but ye shall cry for sorrow of heart and shall howl for vexation of spirit. Because you're going to know that what you thought was wrong. But some of y'all know. And then you're going to know that you were just wicked. And hey, it's your lot to catch that judgment. Hey, and, and, and the wicked in that scripture is also is double fold because it's talking about Esau too, man. Mm -hmm. Esau, Edom, man, hey, they're going to get judged, man. All that, all, hey, man. If you not, hey, you other camps, man, y'all going to clean off teaching that madness. Straight up, y'all know, y'all know what y'all did, man. That's just madness. It's pure madness. Gotta be, it got to be brought out, man. But, hey, we going to eat. Brothers who are watching the videos, brothers who just coming in, man. Hey the, hey, the most high not sending us off, man. We good. We got the name. We laboring. We got the name. We good. We going to dwell in quiet and safetyness. When all manner of evilness and wickedness going on, we going to be protected and we going to be saved. This is 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 58. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be steadfast, unmovable, Always abounding in the work of the Lord, for as much as you know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. And you know anybody out there, anybody out there, just listening, man, just know you doing this work. Hey, this is not in vain, man. The Most High got us. We got the whole blueprint. We gonna eat. And on top of that, man, hey, forget about what's going on. Keep doing this, and we gonna be good. Uh, if, if I may, let me um finish this. This Hebrews, this Hebrews chapter six, verse eleven. And when we and when and we desire that every one of you show the same diligence, diligence to the full assurance of hope unto the end, that ye be not slothful, but followers of them who do faith and patience inherit the promise. For when the Most High had promised to Abraham, because he could swear by no greater, he swore by himself, saying, Surely, blessings I will bless thee. And multiplying, I will multiply thee. And this is the point. 
verse 15, and said, After he had patiently endured, he obtained the promise. So at the end of the day, hey, you have to endure until the end to be saved. Once you endure, man, and once you just, hey, once you deal with it, you deal with whatever it may be, whatever your end is, whether you get put to death or whether you get saved. Hey, hey, whatever it is, man, just deal with it, and the Lord will pull through, man. Verse 10 says he's not righteous that you forget your work, your labor of love. You got to have that faith in the Lord, man. He got us, man. You still don't get the kingdom, man. Just, you know, stick to the script. Continue to do it, man. Hey, the most high not letting us down, man. He got us. We on the right path, man. Just continue. Continue to do this work, man. You're going to receive your reward. We're going to eat, man. We're going to be good in that day. We're going to dwell quiet and safety, man. Uh, continue the things that you have learned, man. The true doctrine. Come uh, on, man. Thank you. Oh, well, uh, with that, man, we hope the video was edifying, man. We want to give all praise and glory honor to your Yahweh, Father, Son, Yahweh, Son. Double honor to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone and all the brothers pushing his word out of truth, sincerity, and charity, man. Shalom. Shalom.